Welcome to A Wonderful Sheep. I hope you're all doing well. I thought I would turn on my camera real quick to do a quick desk tour and maybe slash organize stationery with me video because I've been meaning to do this for a while and I thought I'd better get on it because my space as a reflection of my life is slowly being infiltrated and invaded by BTS and I I think this space will look very different in the next couple of weeks, so I wanted a record of what it looks like now. So this is my desk, and I've got a bookshelf here with random things like my Hobonichi planners, which I've filmed an unboxing of, and my first BTS album, Map of the Soul version 1, and some other planners I got from On Your Mind, which is a stationery brand I really like. I've also filmed a stationery tour and haul. I just need to edit that. Some of my uh, binders and journals, like this is my movie ticket stubs journal. I have a video on this as well, but it's sort of a collage of my movie ticket stubs. And two of my six ring binders. This is an old one. This is from last year. I got it from Luca Lab, and it's a shame because I like the Luca Lab inserts. They're like these cool gradient inserts that are pretty, but they don't fit. The holes don't, the rings don't fit in other A6 binders, and I just ended up not really using this binder as much after trying it a little bit last year. Some books like The Artist's Way, which I only got to week three before I ended up stopping in my morning pages. Some picture books that are really inspiring. I love Chu Hee Yoon. She's a printmaker and I love her art, and also Hana Consejo, which I have a video of when I went to her exhibition. Second shelf. This is my inbox, so mail I received this year. This is a box of postcards. 99% Korean illustrators, so when I go to fairs or shops, I like to pick up illustrated postcards from different local illustrators. And then down here are more postcards. I go to Seoul and a lot of Zimi Label, which is another stationery brand I really like in Korea. I got all these postcards when she was doing her shop closing sale. Okay, but this is my stamp booklet. It's like a little card wallet that I repurposed to keep my stamps for Happy Meal. The next to the postcards were my zines. This is my collection of zines also from local Korean illustrators. Uh, these four are all Young Min, who's a sort of like a collage and printmaker artist that I really enjoy her work and I just like how I just like her aesthetic a lot. Her small collecting books. And this is a cool book, the candy book. It's like inspired by candy wrapper she found in Portugal. This is getting quite long, so I'll move along faster. These are my washi tapes from, like, basically my more expensive washi tapes. The ones that are all, like, by, like, designed by uh, individual artists or brands. So I have them in this acrylic stand, and I have a video of me organizing this, which I will insert now. The washi tape situation is getting a little out of control. We've got three layers stacked here. Layer one, layer two, and then this third layer down here of Daiso washies. And I've started to wrap some of the Daiso washies that I had used a good chunk of onto these tags here, and they have them hanging. And as with all stationery, accessibility is really important. So I do use these more than I do the ones in the very bottom. So yesterday I got this clear acrylic sunglass holder. It's actually for like glasses and sunglasses, but I'm going to put some of my favorite washies in here. These are solid colors from Daiso, and these are from Ikea. And then these are MT brand washi tapes. Also, I found using a half cut toilet paper roll helps to like keep washies together in a tray like this. And then, oh, I found some more washi cards. And these are all other random individual brand or illustrator washi tapes, and some more Daiso sparkly single colors. 
These are all character and colorful Daiso washi tapes and some washi sticker flakes. And these are all individual designer or illustrator washi tapes like Drawing Paper Shop, Singy Label, On Your Mind, Kang Han, All Right Shop, Boki. And these were from my friend who sent me a surprise stationery box. Okay, I think phase one of the washi tape organizing is complete. I put all my Daiso solid colors here, and these are the IKEA solid colors. Here are my MTs and some drawing paper shop. And then I brought out some summer themed and bright colored washis from the dungeons of the bottom tier. Uh, so I can try to use these up during the summer months and I've moved all the thin washies into this row here and then I made this row of some of my favorite MTs this pink this neon orange you can see it in the light this like neon orange and green one these neon colors are my favorite I think of the MT line and I also like this paperways washi this one here so this will sit on top of the acrylic box here first row are my, these are my Boki and Kang Han. And I learned that you can fit more washi tapes in if you do a combination of stacking like vertically and horizontally. But here are my Zingi labels. I forget the brand, but this was from Seoul Stationery Festival. And my All Right Shop. This is Kim Journey. Here are On Your Mind, some random washi tapes, I Art the World some individual brand and shop washi tapes. Some people organize by color, but I think of washi tapes by like brand or where I got them. Let me know if you'd like to see more organizing stationary videos. Thank you for watching.